All right, here we go. My wife interrupted me. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly go over this. Okay, I got the multimeter. It's uh, plugged into the power strip, just reading voltage. Because I wanna know if I'm seeing my voltage draw greatly increase. It's not gonna help a lot. I should probably do an amp draw test. Anyways, uh, power strip. I'm supplying power for the Dremel. Dremel's plugged into it. <clears throat> Dremel's going to the uh, old washing machine pump motor that I kind of dismantled. <clears throat> now you can get a good look at it. Come on, all right, quick uh, throw together. Simple U bolt pulling the Dremel down. Anyways, um, terminals, two terminals here, the black and the blue. Feeding the uh, high voltage step up transformer. Uh, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's like 160 volts or something. Coming into the high voltage side, quite a bit of voltage. I was wrong, it's well over 2000. Low amperage, high voltage. Um, so I have one terminal on the high voltage side coming out. And you can see it right here with the black alligator clip clipped to it. It's going to the spark gap. You can see the one alligator end going into the spark gap. Here's the spark gap. Um, see the gap there? It's kind of shitty. I dropped it earlier. Uh, going through the other end when the spark jumps the gap right there of the screws, it'll come across, go through the other blue wire with a stripe on it, up the red alligator clip, coming around. Wham bam, bang a rang to the brush that touches the I don't know, steel axle that's chucked into the Dremel. And that's the only point of contact, and the amount of RPM that come out of this thing because of that touching is blows my mind, and I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, what else is really awesome is now our left side of the output of the high voltage side. Coming down, you can see it start coming down. White alligator clip. And what I realized was it likes to be grounded out. And when it's grounded out, um, it'll really jump the gap there. And give me the RPM. And I'll show you that. I'm just using this old treadmill motor that I grabbed there the one day. Um, it's just a good ground. It's a big hunk of metal and makes a decent earth ground right now. I'd like to throw something into the dirt outside and drive it in the ground and get a really good solid ground. But anyways, <clears throat> it's fired up. So I'll open up the gap. I have to close the gap, make a nice tiny spark. We're not going to hear much of anything happen. Okay, so you see the itty bitty spark in here. Um, now I'm going to open up my gap. You're going to hear that RPM just take off. Here it, kick it up. It's just from opening up the spark gap. And now I'll take my earth ground. Now I'll take part of the earth ground, this alligator clip is just clipped onto the steel body of the treadmill motor and I'll go to just this single leg of the high voltage side, or I'm sorry, the back alligator clip and uh, I'm going to jump the gap here. Listen to the RPM. You can hear 
that, it really takes off. That's it. I can also influence the RPM. I don't know if you can hear that. Every time I touch the ground, it takes off. 